Hi guys and welcome back to my let's play of Fable 2 Here we are I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do on this statue Nope. If you get any people coming by you while you're doing this and you, you don't do the right MO and it does that shockwave, people will start to dislike you because they've been pushed away. <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. It was that one for some reason, I don't know why. Um, did it do anything? Anyway, we're gonna go to the Gravekeeper. Hi guards, hi. What's your name? Andy oh, yes. and Phil. You're a fine one. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. What, am I a bit too queer for you, now, you now, folks? Oh, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Come on, we, we can be very friendly buddies. Oh, yeah, now you like me. Yeah. Oh. What, well, going too far? Fuck you then. For many, many reasons. Inappropriate? My ass. Whatever. It's appropriate, alright. What are you talking about? It's okay to be a bit queer every now and then. <laughs> um, hello? I'm not in. Yes, you are. Hello. Well, I'm in, but I'm busy doing absolutely nothing abnormal. Okay, I'm not the police, you know. <laughs> Still there? Go away. No. How rude. Yes. Yeah. Century's most important scientific experiment. Sure. Oh. Good. Good. Open up then. Your first um scientific expedition is to Rookridge. There should be a fine body oh, part hidden away. I beg your pardon. There. Pervert. Good luck. Body part. Uh where did you say Rookridge? So that basically means the hob Cave. Where is it? Rookridge Hob Cave. I believe that's the right place. So basically, he wants to resurrect. I can't remember who she is exactly, if she's the mayor or something. But, uh,. He wants to resurrect a lady called Mrs. Grain or Miss Grain. And she was in the first Fable game. I never really played the first one. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately. Uh, that's just me. My very first Fable game was this one. So he wants to resurrect a character from the first game. Oh fuck you. Stupid Hobbs. Yeah, I don't need to fight these. God, another gargoyle. 
Everywhere I go, gargoyle. Everywhere I go, insults from gargoyles. Oh god, I'm getting stuck. Uh, wait, am I going the right way? Oh. Okay, it's supposed to be here somewhere. Ah, oh, god damn it. Piss off. God damn it. <laughs> Another hob. Where is it? Yes, here? Right -o. Whoa! Ugh! Lady Grey, look at those thighs! Oh yes, I... Uh, yeah, I see them. Ugh! Alright. Why can't they... let you search for every piece instead of going to the Gravekeeper every time? Because that's a bit time consuming and stupid. Uh, graveyard mansion. Come on in, the door's open. Hi. What is that on your head? Oh. It's her. It's really, really her. I might as well tell you the truth now. I'm not just advancing the cause of science, you, you see. don't say. I'm... I'm advancing the cause of love. Right. This... This is Lady Grey. Well... Oh yeah, a pair of legs, that's all. She lived a long time ago. Mm -hmm. An awful, barbaric time. And she was the mayor of Bowerstone. And what does this have to do with me? Some people. Well, they didn't like her very much. Really? Couldn't see what a wonderful person she really was. They called her a witch. And, well, they chopped off her... You are into some weird, crazy shit. they buried shit. her body in three different places. But let's not waste time on such awful tales. The second part of her is hidden in a tomb between Bloodstone and oh, Wraith Sorry, I've fallen asleep here. Please find Wraith Marsh, huh? Okie dokie. Wraith Marsh it is. All right then. All right, I'd say on the next episode, it will just be one episode of Not Our Island. Alright, where is it taking me? Alright, here we are. Had a bit of trouble finding the place. Hi, yeah, take that hollow man. Oh. Alright, let's uh, get out of here.
Alright, um, this is the Twin Blades Tomb. Now, unfortunately, I haven't actually ever played the first one. Uh, first Fable game. All I know is that Twin Blade apparently was responsible for the hero's village being burnt down in the first game. That's all I know, really. I mean, like I said before, at least I think I said before, that this was my very first Fable, Fable game. What? I'm not really sure. Um, right, there's some spikes over here. Actually, if I have got enough gold, I may be able, I might be able to do the quest Oh shit, what's happened? The, uh, Garth's Tower quest. I'm not really sure how much that is, but I know for a fact it costs so much gold. I remember one time saving up, I know, days and days of, well, back then, when I was just, uh, all I did was uh, blacksmithing, all the other jobs to get gold, and it would take me uh, many, many days to get enough gold for Garth's, um, whatchamacallit, tower. I think it's a bit ridiculous you have to buy the tower just to start the mission. I mean, quest. Why do I keep saying mission? God. Oh, hey, how rude. But whenever I would play through this game, I would never bother with XP farming. I just, I, I just want to go through the whole game, <laughs> rush through it basically. All right, uh, I think there's supposed to be another switch somewhere. If I can remember where. Oh. Okay, we've got to do a chicken dance. I can't wait for Fable Legends though. Even though they haven't actually showed any gameplay, which is ironic. seems to be what all game companies are doing now most of the time they uh, they never show the gameplay just uh, you know fancy cutscenes and all that <laughs> uh, you may have to excuse me well, I do apologize if I end up cutting the video once again I've got my cat in the room who can be pretty noisy so if you notice a cut in the video, that's because my cat has been noisy again. I feel bad uh, for keeping him out the room. Oh shit. But, um... Fire traps. Oh, doggy, what did you do? <gasps> doggy. 
Doggy, don't do that. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> What's this do? What does this switch do? Stops the fire, I suppose. Is that it? Alright, so it just opened the gate. Oh. Oh no, not another gargoyle. Oh, lovely. Lots of XP. Who said that? Come out and show yourself. Cheeky gargoyle. Oh yeah, just dog. Oh, money bag. So if I do it, end up having enough money, I'll do the Garth's Tower quest. Oh shit, that's scary. Ew. Ew, you got titties. Yeah, of course. That's gross. Oh, I see you. You can't hide from me. Haha, <laughs> got ya. Oh. Oh dear, what's in here? Oh, it's a silver key. And there's another silver key here, well, okay. Alrighty then. Uh, what's in here? Oh. You should wash your hands after touching this. Oh god, no kidding. What's this? Okay. Boom. We give that to the gravekeeper now. And after that, it's one more body piece to go, I believe. Which is the head. Which actually is in... Uh, what's it called? Fairfax Castle? Well, not castle, gardens. Basically. Oh. Oh, uh, anyway, let's go to the uh, cemetery at the graveyard mansion. I mean, you got to admit, though, that guy does seem pretty creepy. I mean, he wants he wants to resurrect a woman just to be his fiance. It's uh. I mean, it's just my opinion, I think it's a bit creepy. Any normal person would think so. Uh -huh. Alright, there you go. Oh, wonderful. Yes. My poor Lady Grey. What did they do to you? Just don't start fondling the tits. At your parts ended up in cool, dry places. Oh, right, yes. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah, it's You're no problem. You're probably the closest thing I've ever had to a friend. Pathetic, isn't it? Uh, yeah, a bit, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's only one more part of her left to find. And it's in a vault somewhere in Fairfax Gardens. I'm sure you'll find the right tomb. I'd come with you, but, well, I try not to go out too much. Hmm, you I should try it more. Alright, um, yeah, keep your hands off those breasts. Until I return, so we can, uh, both have a go at that. <laughs> Not really. Anyway, we're gonna go to Fairfax Gardens. Which is in... Uh, where is it again? Ah, oh, there it is. Huh. 
There's actually a gargoyle up there. But the thing is, to get that gargoyle, you actually need a crossbow. The paranoid scream. Alright, here we are. Any treasure? Nah. No. Alright, let's just uh, head inside. Quiet. Well, and it's a bit dark in here. Oh, my God. Another gargoyle? <laughs> Seriously, everywhere I go, there's a... A flipping gargoyle. Oh, my. Oh, God. It spoils it for you. It says, give the head to the graveyard. Oh, that is creepy. <laughs> that is horrible. Not bad looking, considering it's 500 years old. Uh huh. And he wants to marry that? Ugh. What is wrong with him? Well, many things, but uh, we don't really need to go into it. Oh, stupid bugs. Take that. Oh yeah. How many bugs are there? I feel like I'm in the treasure place in Aladdin. <laughs> it kind of looks like it. Can't really remember the name. That giant lion head cave sort of thing. Alright, now we can get out of here. Hopefully this uh, Let's Play ends soon. We can finally move on to something else once it's done. I haven't actually been able to upload videos every single day. You know, things get in the way and... Sometimes I'm a bit too lazy to upload the episode. But, when you're doing a Let's Play, it's gotta be done. Yes, I know, dog. And the uh, treasure chest right here. Wow, nice. Alright, so we go to the cemetery again. It's gotten darker. Oh god. Oh god. Everything's ready, guys. This is it. How is he going to resurrect her? We'll find out. Hi. Oh. Hi there, creepy guy. There you go. Don't drop it. At last. I never thought this day would come. My sweet lady. I can tell you're about to come when it's done. <laughs> Just uh, try to keep it under control. You must think I'm some sort of pervert. Oh, yes. A real creep. Yep. But, well, I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Ever since I found a picture of her. 
She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. How do you know? She's 500 years old. What, you like I old women? How such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. Yeah, how? <laughs> you see, this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue. Oh, you are sick. It's also oh. a love spell. Good them. Look at that. I will be so happy. Oops. Wrong I'll way. take care of her forever. Freak. <laughs> just like she deserves. Freak. Ew, that is disgusting. Stand back. Oh, okay. It's time. This is some scary music playing. Let's have a look. Oh, that was quick. She's a vampire. Why is she moving like that? Huh? Why is she dumb? Okay, I'm gonna stand over here. She's alive. Oh, my sweet Why is she looking at me? How do you feel? You you brought me back. You are magnificent. Well, you know. Actually, it was it was me who I'm this way. I'm over here. I've been asleep so long, but now I am ready to live again and to love for the first time. All right. You are so perfect. Who him? I don't think so. Oh no. The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she You've got to go. Now. What me? I don't want to go away. Yeah, I don't want you. Piss off. <laughs> yeah, I'm going, I'm going. Yeah, I know. What? You're not meant for each other. Well, actually, you might be because they're both creepy. Should we have a peek? My sweet lady. I promise to take care of you. Always. Bunch of weirdos. Alright, you aided the course of true, if slightly unorthodox, love. And the happy couple has eloped. Looks like the mansion's up for sale now. Right, since it said it's up for sale, basically that means we get a quest for buying the mansion uh well that's a lot all right there we go a key to the gravekeeper's private yard Dear Occupa, I hope you find more happiness in this house than I did. It was far too large and empty for a lonely soul such as I. And yet I do have found memories of the place. It was here and I discovered all my grand grandfather's secrets and continued his experiments. Even when they touched upon matters perhaps best left alone. I enclosed the key to my grandfather's scrap yard nearby. Though there is little of value to be found, he made me promise I would never set foot in the in the crypt there, and I suggest you heed his warning too. Who knows what failed experiments lurk inside? Respectfully, Victor the Bowstone Gravekeeper. More like the Grave Creeper. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna do this quest then. So we're just gonna do this one quest. Then end the episode. Alright, where is it? Is it on here? 
Cemetery. Okay. I just gotta find where it is. Shouldn't be too far. Ah, here we are. Oh no. The adventure on you. I've got a quest for you. Catch my stony arse. Where the hell is that gargoyle? Um, I don't see it. Oh, yes I do. Bye bye. Oh, a digging spot, boy. Oh, it's a kilo white die. So yeah, of course, there's someone who doesn't want us to continue. This quest includes a good or bad choice option, so... Oh, what's that? Sword. Hmm. So there's nothing to collect here. Ah, what's in here? Ah, uh, what's this? The Stone of Merigregofield, I don't know how you pronounce that. One of the most valuable gems in all Albion. Nice. Leave the caverns. What was that? Oh, key. This is actually probably uh, one of the only quests in the game where I'm actually going to choose the bad one. Yeah, that's right. For once, I'm choosing a bad option because, well, I just feel like it. I mean, you can sell the, the uh, gem for a lot of money. And I do kind of need the money I suppose because I mean sure I don't exactly know how much Garth's uh, tower is but I do know it does cost a lot and I probably don't even have enough gold and they're just a bunch of hollow men anyway so but then again, you do still get evil points, of course. Ha! Slash. Whoa. Yeah, I'll take that. How's your mother? I see it. And I still don't actually know what Let's Play to do after this. I was thinking... Lost Odyssey or Prototype. Maybe something else, I don't know, but... 
You see, uh, Lost Odyssey has, is going to take me a long time to do because that game has four discs. Blue Dragon took me many, many months to finish. And I didn't always upload an episode every single day. Ah, just try and shoot this bloody thing. Alright, so we can walk on this invisible platform. Shoot up here. Oh, why won't you get it? Oh, thank God. Why? Shoot it again. Huh. Having a bit of trouble aiming. Uh, where did it go? Oh, it's over there. Please tell me this can reach. There we go. Wee. So this is probably the only time in the whole game where I I'm gonna choose the bad choice. Mmm, yum yum. My god, not another one. Where are you? You have taken the stone of Mia Bragotho, the artifact that binds us to this world, the holy object we have sworn to protect. Its removal shall cost. into an unspeakable dimension of pain and bring us everlasting torment so you can't have it I feel bad but you are uh, just a dirty hollow man face. after all fuck you fuck you so if you decide to fight them uh, they eventually give up and I think you get like 50 evil points or something, I'm not sure. I do what I want. It's too late to give him the ruby now. Uh, 30 evil points, okay. I hope my halo doesn't disappear. <laughs> This is what this game is all about, choices. Wow. Yeah, I'm a badass. And you can't kill me. One time when I did this quest, I really did care about being good. I thought I was meant to kill them, and then I saw the evil points, and I was so confused. I actually resetted the game one time. <laughs> Since they're hollow men, I thought I had to kill them. You may have avoided being trampled in a hollow dance, but your greed has condemned the souls of ancient warriors to eternal torment. Oh, well. Who cares, right? I'm filthy rich. <laughs> oh, did my halo disappear? Uh, no, it's still there. I'll probably have to be way more evil for it to disappear. 
Alright, that's, uh, I guess that's it now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And, yeah, have a nice day. And keep on watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.